Hello everyone. Welcome to our almost final <laughs> celebration celebration. Um, we only have one week left after today of celebration. So if you have not taken advantage of all those celebration deals, make sure you do. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But before we do, while we're waiting for people to join live, I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about the March Paper Pumpkin. Um, before we get into the March Paper, the February Paper Pumpkins have shipped. Mine is on its way to me. And I think it will probably arrive on <clears throat> Tuesday. And I had figured I'll go live Tuesday night. That'll be great. And then I'll go live Wednesday morning in my business page. That'll be great. But our mailboxes have recently been broken into. So we have to go down to our actual post office to pick up our mail. And sometimes our mail that's supposed to arrive, you know, on Tuesday won't be there until Wednesday. So I, I honestly don't know when I'm going to get my paper pumpkin because um, now it's a trip for me to go down to the post office to actually get my mail until they get our, our cluster boxes fixed. So you know, it's such a big hassle. I hate criminals. <laughs> anyway, um, so stay tuned. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do my unboxing for my February paper pumpkin. Um, but as soon as I get it, I will do it. All right, so March's Paper Pumpkin, Beyond the Horizon. This actually coordinates with, you know, I have my catalog here. Let's see if I can find that that bun, that sweet. Um, I don't have it. It's one of the ones I don't have. Let me see. Hello. I should have been more prepared with this. But while I'm finding it, let me tell you guys that, let's see, page 43. Let me tell you guys that we are um, going to get two stamp sets in the March Paper Pumpkin. So the March Paper Pumpkin will coordinate with this suite, the New Horizons suite, which is pretty stunning. It's gorgeous. This is, again, it's one I don't have, but I I love, I love these embellishments. This ribbon I love. I've played with that a lot. And this DSP is just gorgeous. So if this is a suite that you're kind of drawn to, you might love the March Paper Pumpkin. So make sure you subscribe by March 10th for that. And again, you're going to get that second stamp set in the March Paper Pumpkin as a bonus. Now, if you love Paper Pumpkin, Paper Pumpkin will be having a little bit of a price increase in March. If you want to maximize your savings, the best way to do that is with a prepaid subscription. These are going to be the prices when they increase starting March 1st. <clears throat> um, if you want to buy those prepaid subscriptions, you can actually save a few dollars when you buy them during celebration and then you're also going to get some celebration benefits on top of that <clears throat> all right the all together products line these are available the blends some of them are on back order they are unavailable to purchase right now <clears throat> these products are only available for a limited time the blends will be in the new annual catalog so these you'll be able to get later but if you love these products make sure you're snagging them now they're only available while supplies last and here's a, that's just a screenshot of that, um, of all the new blends. Again, those are, some of them are not available. Um, they might all not be available. Last time I checked, there was a couple that were, were gone. All right, coming in March, the Waves of the Ocean products. These products are gorgeous. The um, rhinestones are the only ones that I have. I didn't get any of the other ones. I am not convinced on them yet, but I'm sure I will be. The rhinestones are gorgeous. Um, you can put these items in your starter kit right now. If you wanted to join my team during celebration, um, you can add these items. Demonstrators can pre-order them now, but you can also put them in your starter kit. Otherwise, they will be available on March 1st. All right, speaking of joining celebration, this is the best time to join. Your starter kit is only $99. You get to choose $125 in product. Plus, during celebration, you get to add two free stamp sets to your starter kit, which is a fantastic deal. Plus, you're going to get free shipping. You're going to get a free paper pumpkin and you get to join my team and we have a lot of fun on my team. All right, guys, today we are using two celebration products. We're going to use the Simply Marvelous DSP paper and then we are going to use this one, the Special Moments stamp set. So next week on our last celebration celebration, there's only one product we haven't used and it is this one. So this is going to be the one for next week, but today... We are, we're using the Special Moments stamp set. This is free with a $100 purchase. This is a little bit of a bigger stamp set. You're getting 21 different greetings in here. This is free with a $100 stamp set. And then we're also going to use the um, Simply Marvelous DSP. And this paper, you get free with a $50 purchase. And there's six different colors. You have a basic gray. I think this is Gorgeous Grape or Highland Heather. I need to pull my catalog. Balmy Blue, Pool Party, bumblebee and flirty flamingo the front side is is like marble this kind of reminds me when you do the shaving cream technique 
this is what it looks like but then the reverse side is like like stone marble this side this is I love I love this side um, both sides are very pretty and we're actually gonna use both sides in our in our projects but you're gonna get eight sheets of each of these colors in that DSP pack so let me show you what we're making today this is the project we're making today it is so stinking cute it's a sweet little box and then the belly band slides right off and inside I have two little little instant coffees for your coffee lovers or for maybe teachers that need a little extra boost for the school day I think this is a really cute gift so the lid just folds over and then you can just slide that belly band on and off and it is so cute so we're gonna make this so this is the flirty flamingo version you can see that marble paper back here that the marble paper makes the belly band and we're also gonna use that marble paper for um, our flower and I have a cute little technique with the leaf that may, might surprise you um, but we're going to actually start with our box and for this one I'm using bumblebee so let me get out my simply scored you're gonna need your simply scored for this oh just hit my desk with it all right your paper is going to be 11 by 3 so you can get a couple of these out of a piece of eight and a half by 11. we're going to start on the long side and you're going to score it at three and a half four eight and eight and a half now you don't have to worry about writing any of these down the the measurements are all in the video description and they'll be on my blog following this Facebook Live. All right, on the short side, you're gonna score it at half an inch on each side. So half an inch all the way down, and rotate it all the way around and do half an inch on the other side. Okay, that is it for the scoring. Simple scoring, no funky measurements, no weird, no weird diagonal lines, nothing. So give your folds a nice burnish with your bone folder. You are placing an online order make sure to use this host code when you purchase in my online store all orders will receive a PDF with three exclusive projects when your order is over $50 you're gonna receive a make and take kit to coordinate with that PDF so you can make those cards as well all right so we're gonna do a little bit of trimming so you'll see that one size we have like two little half inch sections here one side is longer this is actually gonna be the front of our box and then one side is shorter so we're gonna actually start on the shorter side so we are going to cut up on that second score line and then we're just going to cut off this whole half inch piece over here so you can use your paper trimmer I'm just using my paper snips you can use long scissors however you want to do it we're just going to remove that whole thing all right on we're gonna do the same on the other side and cut up that long piece right there so this is going to be our lid that folds over just like that okay all right so um these little half inch lines down here we're going to <laughs> my door is squeaking my husband tried to sneak in um we're just going to notch these in these are going to be our little um our little glue tabs here so we're going to just notch that in so you're just going to cut straight up those um, the long rectangles and you're going to notch in on that half inch piece. You're going to turn it around and do the same on the other side. Just cut straight up those rectangles and then notch in on those little half inch pieces. And that's all the trimming for now. So you can see that's what your box looks like. So we've taken off those whole pieces on the front and we've notched in that little tab right there. All right, let's do some corner rounding on our little front tab. This is going to be the part that folds over. So I want it to look nice and finished and I love our detailed trio punch for that <laughs> um, all right so let's get we're gonna glue this together before we do the rest of our trimming um, take some tear and tape on this piece the longer piece down here on each of the half inch tabs add a piece of tear and tape and we're doing this on the inside this is like the inside of our box it's gonna fold up this way so put your glue on the inside tabs Oops, hello I'm using tear and tape you can use Stamp and Seal Plus or liquid glue. And then also on the inside, we are going to put a little bit of adhesive on these little tabs. Let me see. Come on. Come on, tear and tape, work with me. Now I know what you might be thinking, like, why are you putting that on the inside? That doesn't make any sense. But I'm actually I'm gonna show you a little trick that I've recently learned that like blew my mind. So let's peel off all of our, our adhesive backings. 
Let me see. The adhesive needs to stay. Okay, there we go. Peel off all the adhesive backings. And instead of putting these little half inch tabs on the inside of the box, we're actually going to sandwich them in the middle. So the first part we're going to fold up is going to be this back half inch tab here. And we're going to line up this cut line with that inside score line on that little half inch tab. And we're going to glue that tab to the outside of that half inch score line. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So this is what it looks like so far. So that um, little half inch tab is on the outside and we're just going to fold the front over, line it up with the back, make sure everything's lined up and that will sandwich that little half inch tab on the inside. So you don't have anything on the inside that's going to get in the way. You don't have to glue tabs on the inside. We're closing that little tab on the, in between the two half inch tabs and you're never going to see it. That gives you a really nice finished box on the bottom. Okay, isn't that cute? So cute. Now, I do want to just trim off these little corners here, so I'm just going to cut from the front of the box here to that corner, just like that. And then we're going to do the same on this side, just like that. And that gives us a nice little finished box, just like that. So cute, right? All right, this is what I have. I found these at, I think I got these at Target. I know they sell these at like Walmart or your grocery store. So two of these fit inside. Now I'm not a coffee drinker, so I don't know if hazelnut coffee tastes good. Um, that was all they had in Target that day. So <laughs> that's what I got. So a couple little hazelnut coffees in there and that is that pretty much finishes our box. And you can decorate this however you want. We're gonna add that fun belly band on it. So let's start with our belly band. So for our belly band, I have a piece of that Simply Marvelous DSP that is six by two. So you can get three of these per six by six sheet. And I'm not going to score it. We're just going to kind of fold it around. So I'm going to make sure that my, my lid is on there. Make sure it's nice and straight at the top. And I'm actually going to flip it over and start from the back. Because we want our seam to be on the back. And I'm going to line up my DSP about to the edge of my box there. And then I'm just going to wrap it around and pinch it as I go. That The pinching is going to tell me where we need to fold it. And... We'll go back in with our bone folder and fold it nicely, but that's just going to give me a nice little idea of where to fold it. And then we'll go back in with our bone folder where we pinched, make sure everything's lined up so we get some straight lines here. We'll just go in gently with our bone folder and even out all of those, those fold lines there. Okay. Okay. Got one more. There we go. Last one, and we're going to add some tear and tape where to go. We're going to add some tear and tape to this inside of the long side. Now you can use either pattern. We're going to use this more detailed marble piece, but you can use either side if you want. I put my tear and tape on the inside of this longer piece here. We're going to peel that off and then we're just going to put that back on our belly band and wrap it around. So I'm going to start with my shorter piece this time and then my longer piece will wrap around. It'll go almost all the way to the edge. And you'll never see that seam because it's in the back on the edge. Okay, so that slides on and off just like that. Isn't that fantastic? I love it. All right, let's get to our other pieces. So I have a couple of pieces that I have embossed. Let me pull this off so you can see. I wanted to add a little bit more texture to the front of my box. Um, so I'm going to do that with some with an embossing folder this time. And we're going to use the ornate floral embossing folder. So I have two pieces. This one is one and seven eighths by two and three eighths. And this one is one and seven eighths by three and three eighths. But before you run it through the embossing folder, I want to round the corners because this is going to go on the front of our box where the corners have been rounded. So I'm going to pull out my detailed trio punch one more time. And you do want to do this before you run it through the embossing folder. Um, on my first one, I did it after I ran it through the embossing folder and it just, it's, harder for the punch to get those clean corners so it's much easier if you do it before so pull out your your cut and emboss machine you open this up i know this is going to take up most of the screen all right so for embossing you're going to need platform number one and for this embossing folder you're going to need the gray plate number four this is the ornate floral this is a 3d embossing folder so we need that that specialty plate, just put that in 
and we're going to run that through. This embossing folder has been in the catalog for, for a while, and it's one of my favorites. Put that away. Put our plates away. It's just so beautiful. Let me show you guys like how gorgeous that is. I hope the, the camera will pick up all of that. This, there's just little tiny flowers. It's just gorgeous. All right, let's take off our belly band and we're going to stick these on. Let me see what kind of glue do I want to use. Let me grab my stamp and seal. Let's just put this on your embossed pieces. The bigger one, the one that we did not corner around, that's going to go on this piece. And we went just an eighth of an inch smaller, so it's going to go almost all the way to the edges. So just make sure that you're, you line it up. You don't give it a lot of a lot of room on one side. There we go. Isn't that pretty? It just adds so much to it. All right. And then the front piece, this one will go on our flap. And with embossing folders, I like to make sure that I'm adding adhesive on all four sides. That just holds it down a little more. And then we already have that nice corner rounded edge there. And that just goes right on the front. And that just adds so much extra texture. And it just helps make the gift a little bit more fancy. And then your belly band slides right back on. And we're ready to do our final decoration. So let's do some stamping. I have a um, tag from the TaylorMade Tags. This is the second smallest of that little clipped corner tag. I love that clipped corner tag. My favorite. All right, we're going to use a greeting from that Special Moments stamp set. Remember, you can only get the Special Moment stamp set free with a $100 order. All right. Thanks for brightening my day. That's going to go right on our tag. Fits perfectly. You can always stamp this and then die cut your tag if you don't want to stamp right onto your tag. All right. And I use basic gray for that. I don't think I mentioned that. All right. Let's get the rest of our little elements. We're going to pull in more of that marble paper. That's simply marvelous. And for my flowers... Everything is all tangled up. For my flowers, I'm going to use our flowers and leaves punch. This is in our annual catalog. Let me get that in there. We just want the flowers. I'm just going to punch that. And then we have two. We have a big one and a little one. You have some leaves here. You can use them. We're not going to use them today. Now, for the leaves, I told you guys I was going to show you a special little technique for the leaves. I'm using the ladybug punch. We're only using the wings. The wings are going to be our leaves, and I'm doing that at a pool party. I love, I don't remember who I saw this from, but I was like, oh, those are the best leaves ever. And then our final touch for our flower, I have a half inch circle out of basic gray that I have punched using a retired punch, but you can, um, I'm sure in your stash you have a small circle. Now I am going to flip this, um, the bigger one over. We're going to use the the softer marble side, I want to say. A little bit of liquid glue in the middle. And then we're going to stick the smaller flower right on top. And the half inch circle right on top of that. And we're going to let that sit and dry for just a minute. So I'm going to push that off to the side. We're going to give our flower a little bit more dimension in just a minute. Now for our leaves, I'm just going to kind of pinch the, the wings here and just kind of fold them down the middle. Just like that and that's going to kind of give us like the illusion of the the veining in the leaf and i'm going to do that to both of them you can score this too if you want to stick it in your paper trimmer or you're simply scored but i think it's with dsp especially it's really easy to fold them and that gives us a lot of extra texture to our leaves isn't that fun all right let's tie our our bow on here on our greeting so i have some of the gray granite shimmer ribbon i'm just going to stick that through my tag and i'm not going to tie a knot i'm just going to pull I don't know, like five, six inches through. And then I'm just going to go straight to tying a bow. So loop up, loop around. And by doing that, you're going to eliminate a lot of bulk. You're going to save some ribbon. And it really doesn't need that extra knot. So just like that. Okay, you guys, I tied on the spool. Are you guys proud of me? I'm getting better. Normally I have to hack off a giant piece of ribbon. All right. So we have all our pieces. Let's start assembling. So for my tag I'm going to looking for my scissors I'm going to put that on with dimensionals I'm just going to grab a piece of my edges here stick that on the back that piece off okay 
<clears throat> and I'm going to put this on. I'm not going to put it on completely straight. And it is going to hang off a little bit, so make sure that your adhesive isn't going all the way to the edges. You just want it kind of in the middle of that tag. And actually, I'm going to move it down just a little bit. I want to leave some room up here for our, for our flower. I'm going to attach a dimensional right to my belly band because I want to make sure that the adhesive does not go past that um, that belly band because if we glue it to the box it's not going to slide on and off and actually let me stick on our leaf first let me pull off this I'm going to stick on our leaf and that I'm going to use that dimensional to help hold that leaf on just like that that way everything is glued directly onto the belly band all right now for our flower I'm just going to take these little middle petals just kind of fold them up a little bit give them a little bit of texture kind of round these up to give it a little bit of extra texture that will go right onto that dimensional just like that now final finishing touch i have some metallic pearls here in the silver and i'm just going to stick one of these right onto like the corner of my little it's my little flower center and that completes the box let me pull this belly band down there we go so you have a flirty flamingo version you have a bumblebee version there's lots of dsps in this group you could use you could do the basic gray version you could do the balmy blue version um, so many different choices in here. We use the pool party and the, the Highland Heather for the for the flowers. So if you wanted to steer clear of those, but there's so many options in here. You get a ton of DSP in that pack. So check that out if you're still shopping for celebration items. And that is the box for today. I love it. It's so cute. It's fun. You can make a bunch of them in no time. All right. If you are watching this on Facebook, please um, like and share this with your friends. If you were on YouTube, please share this or please subscribe to my channel. You can share it with your crafty friends as well. Now on Wednesday, I will be live again in my business page. And let me give you a quick sneak peek of what we're making then. This is what we're making. It is a, it's a fun box, but it's going to surprise you. It's super fun. I love it. I made it yesterday and I could not be more happy with it. It's so cute. All right, guys, I will see you guys on Wednesday on my business page. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll make sure to get to them and I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks guys. Bye.